round three of the women's six nations. Wales at a sold out arms park, hosting the world number one side, England, as Mackenzie Carson gathers Roll. for the Red Roses. Okay. And Packer manages to vine Kabea just outside of their own 22. Stay. Bevan finds Snow Silk. Big push out to Hannah Jones. You could see that that Jess Breach was tracking, but still Wales keep on, keep on. as they go over into the 22 oh, again. Georgia Evans, lovely tip off Sorry. there to Tua Pilotu. Advance. Bevan thought she was going to be away. Nice idea there, but Number not to be. As they just push back once again. Sorry, nine with the markers here. Well, there's a big decision here for Wales Number to make. Seven. What would you like? That's an interesting call. You know, for me, they've been putting on so much pressure now. Here. You kind of feel that at some point it might break this England defence. But it's a very pragmatic approach. It's a very sensible approach. You know, coaches will quite often say you can't spend five, six, seven minutes down in a 22 and not come away with something. And Wales have certainly had a good camp there. But brilliant work right there from Courtney Keaton at fullback, showing her strength on the ball. Lovely tip on pass from Georgia Evans to Cecilia Tuipilotu. Really good, really good connection there shown by the Welsh team. Yeah, I mean, it's a sensible decision, you know, take per points early on, first points of the game, build confidence, they'll get the back ball back, hopefully build momentum into it, and I think um, at this point in the game it, it is definitely the right decision. But again, England will be frustrated by the amount of penalties they're giving away in this area, especially to a Wales team who are, who are good at keeping the ball, but as we've seen there, the Wales are making good ground through the edges, you know, we said that would probably be a good place to, to, to go. Big moment for Kira Bevan. She's no stranger to them. And there you go, Wales off the mark. What confidence will that bring? Advantage. Well, it's penalty advantage Artus. now for England, so they've got a free shot. Carson advantage again. Advantage feet number eight. Can you keep that mark? Oldcroft. Oh, that was a nice bit of disguise on that. Can Dow finish? She's a metre short of the line. Support was there, but they need quickly recycle ball. There's a huge Six. pot of white players on the left. The Wales do have time to reset in the end. Lucy Packer goes herself, scores! Well, normally England are used to being quite a few more points up than this. 26 minutes into a game, but that's how long it's taken them to get on the score sheet. And it's Harlequin's Lucy Packer who gets them off the mark. You know what, I want to give real credit here to Lucy Packer. She is a young number nine who has been hustled relentlessly for 26 minutes. And yet, when the opportunity arrives, she takes it. Really good by England here, putting the ball through the hand. Look at the timing of that pass. Took it to the very last minute to fix in the last defender. Abby Dow managing to do her thing. But watch Lucy Packer. Fakes one way, looks, scans, opens up her options. A lovely pirouette to finish. Yeah, you, you look back at the, the two passes that led to that break and it's a pass from Mackenzie Carson and then the timing, as you say, Philippa, of that pass from Zoe Allcroft to put Abby Dow down the, the wing, you know, that, that led to the momentum and rule of thumb, never move from the guard channel, which is the, the defender right by the ruck. So that, that for me is a really easy in for, for England from Wales. They'll be kicking themselves there. Emma Singh on kicking duty for England. You've been following the narrative in women's rugby media next week. This is a significant moment. And Singh once again on song. Yeah, last five minutes of the first More. half, and look at this position now for in England. The They're leading, That's but they've had to three. really work for that lead in this fixture. Wells have played Use some sparkling back rugby, back back back. and England's more are being told that they've got to use this little kick through. Who's going to be on the end of it? It's gathered in the end by Hurd. Tatiana Hurd is over. She's smiling. And that is two tries for England. That will be so frustrating for Wales after the half they've had. And Tatiana Hurd goes over for a third try in an England shirt. Yeah, fantastic vision from Holly Aitchison. Just a... 
put that kick through and the weight on it, but the, the power from Tatiana Hur to, to break through the defensive line to, to regather the ball to, to score, you know. She waited a long time to get her first try and she scored in every That's game in, so in this championship so far. Brilliant, but it's just that variation off the back of the, the static mall. And it's a very clever play because when you're so close to your defensive line as a fullback, you don't hover in behind. Mm -hmm. Normally you see a fullback, say, five or ten metres behind where the ball is. But because it's so close to the try line, you just go player on player defence. So Big blow of the whistle and it's a white penalty three, and England have taken it quickly. Come away, they're being pushed down the line. What a pass out to Dow! Big handoff, she's still going, she's going through the gears and she's still going! That's amazing! Abby Dow! One of the finest pieces of skill you will ever see on the wing, executed by one of the finest players. Abby Dow goes over for England again. And what a way to finish the first half. That was incredible, you know. Just that quick um, vision, you know, to take the tap quickly from the, the scrum pen. And that pass from Holly Aitchison, that was unbelievable, you know. To play out the back, and here it comes. Just the, the accuracy, the timing, and then the Abidal handoff. You know, she got pushed into touch earlier on, and she certainly wasn't going to let that happen for a second time. But not many people can finish tries like that. I think she beat about five or six Welsh oh, defenders sorry. there. That was absolutely incredible. And for almost a, a oh, stop start there, you know, she was square on when she caught yeah, that ball. Exactly. Look at her just scanning, constantly aware of where the threats are coming in. Unbelievable player. But also Tatiana Hurd, really good straight line running, stopped the Welsh defence from, from getting across too quickly, which gave the space and opportunity for Abby Dow on the wing. Ridiculous stuff from that woman. The time now for Emma Singh to close out this first half. And she's turned that one around. And then is a very confident scoreline for the Red Roses, who've taken a while to build into this fixture. But Wales have put up an incredible fight. They've had their chances, haven't managed to convert all of them. But it has been a brilliant test match with 40 minutes still to go. It's Wales 3, England 19. And that's quicker ball for England. Heard just on that lovely loop play there from Aitchison. She's got support on her shoulder. She knows it's there. She does a pass. She finishes. A brave decision by Holly Aitchison, but it pays off. And that is a bonus point try for England on 45 minutes. Had passed, and here comes Davis. Long pass out wide to Byrne, who hung out in that channel a lot against Italy. And here she goes again. Try and stop her. Oh, what a pass to Breach! That is wonderful. And Jess Breach knows to finish it under the posts. After all of the pass, effort pass, from pass, Wales, pass, England heads up rugby and Breach scores. That scoreline is racking up. It certainly is. You know, we've known that England are dangerous from, from turnover, from turnover okay, ball. So They've scored plenty of tries, right, six and fact this six nations, it's and it's just England at the best when they're cutting through. Wales aren't organised. So Yorkoff brilliantly reads this here. Gets the head down, looking for looking for space. Bends one defender off. Works the ball really well. Sometimes the bounce of a ball, the pass from Lark isn't always the best, but you know Sarah Byrne does it magnificently well here. Got that bend and that offload to Jess Breach as a good winger would do, hanging out on the, the try. Brilliant. Well, Emma Singh has actually taken that conversion really quickly. So she's uh, three from five now, as uh, Jess Breach did her a bit of a favour. So just uh, dot it down there under the posts. There you go. Vivas. And this is looking strong from England. They're going through the phases. Oh, it's Abby Dow again. She passes out of the end. Ellie Kildan, who's on? Nicely done from England. Ellie Kildan, another player back from injury. That's now six tries. And England are enjoying their trip over the bridge. Yeah, they certainly are, you know. It just comes from the going from one, one edge to the other edge, you know. 
Sarah Byrne and Hannah Botman both used to play in the centre, so no wonder their handling is um, really good and they're comfortable out on the out on the edges. But once you break in behind the Wales defence and England are playing with momentum and on top, it's pretty unstoppable. There we go, couple of drops just hanging out on the <laughs> left you. wing, that's what they do. That's just modern rugby though, isn't it? How brilliant is it that this team can go from edge to edge like that, fully utilising every single player? It doesn't matter who's in that five metre channel, they will back their skill set, make their pass, run their lines. But this is just clinical play there, Abdow so yes. selfless, fixes her player and releases yes, the outside yes, backs. Yes, fully aware, lovely pass, accurate. Easy run in there for Ellie Kildun. Langi Tuima steps up for kicking duties with Singh off the field. <laughs> Should be happy with that first effort as well. But we know that when you make head contact, this is what they're will happen. They're shoulder to head contact, OK? But there was an initial tackle, so it's a yellow card, not red. OK, yeah. Mark, absolutely, the directives are clear, and it's for the safety Here's of these that. players. I do feel a little bit sorry there for Kate Williams. You could see Marley Packer was kind of falling Hi. into that Good tackle, time. but still, you've got to be careful. If you're going for that sort of higher shot to wrap up the ball, you've got to make sure you're nowhere near the head. Well, England will be delighted Wait, with their yeah, position as May Campbell. Saracen's up, hooker, up, she up. has bided her time for this opportunity nice, to wear an England shirt, and she's about to throw in her first ball at an English line-out. Maud! A little snipe round the inside, here comes Maud Muir. You can see she's got a taped-up hand to the injury she's coming oh, back available. from. Bottoman. Vivas. Manages to find Beckett. Nice work on her inside shoulder by Burns. You can see the white shirts just flooding and straight over goes Mordmuir. Only on the pitch about five minutes and scoring tries. And that's number seven for England. OK, let's go. Would you do the same thing, Sarah? Tap and go? I think you might see tap and go because I hear they might be working something in the training field. It's like you've been there, Sarah Hunter, as Marley Packer powers for the line. Oh, around the outside is Hannah Bottoman. I don't think I got Muir in there. A try no, is now for a couple of props as Muir and Bottoman off the bench, both scoring as England bring up their 50. Seven is the captain, Marley Packer. She's about to spend 10 minutes in the bin. We're levelled up at 14 women aside. What's the fourth? Now this time, push towards the near side, here comes Allcroft. Back towards Mordmuir, Beckett has it, she can see the line, Beckett! Sarah Beckett scores, that's try number nine, there's only 13 white shirts on the field, it doesn't matter. Taken oh. cleanly in the air, and here comes that more. Wales being warned to recycle watch. round the corner. Disconnected, accidental into your own player. That is it. England win again. It was a ruthless performance from England. A sobering performance for Wales. And it is England that continue on their quest for a Grand Slam. Congratulations there for all of the England players. Plenty for Wales to ponder. But a record crowd who came out to witness this third round match that finishes Wales 3, England 59.